Hello, it's Larissa Ko. Today we're going to be talking about tone and mood in literature. So mood is all about the reader and describes how they feel while reading the story, whereas tone is all about the speaker. Now, I don't say the author here. The speaker and the author could be the same, but in some cases the author is kind of playing a character and we're talking about the speaker, not necessarily the author. Um, and it describes how the speaker feels about what is going on in the story. So I'm going to do two examples. The first one is a poem called Invictus by William Ernst Henley, written in 1875. Now this was written just after Henley had his foot amputated because of tuberculosis. So I'm going to go through this and look for words that kind of stand out to me and might indicate the feeling of the speaker as well as words that kind of bring out feelings in me. Here we go. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. So here are some of the words and phrases that stood out to me. The ones that are in pink have a negative connotation. The ones that are in purple have a positive connotation. So some of the ones that were really positive were thank gods, unconquerable, unbowed, master of my fate, captain of my soul. These all indicate power and control and that feeling of being invincible, which makes sense since the poem is called Invictus, which is Latin for invincible. And then some of the negatives are night that covers me, black as the pit, clutch, bludgeonings, bloody, wrath and tears, horror of the shade. Shade refers to death, menace, punishments. So it definitely is a more complex emotion than just victorious. It's balanced out with a lot of these negative things and bad feelings that life throws at us. So when we're talking about the tone or how the speaker seems to feel, I definitely thought the speaker was grieving but still optimistic, and they felt powerful and resolute. The mood is kind of similar. The way that I felt while reading it is, first of all, empathetic towards all of these things that this writer is talking about, but also optimistic and hopeful and encouraged. A lot of times the tone and mood are very similar, which is why people tend to get them confused. But here's one in which the tone and mood are quite different. This is from The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe, written in 1875. Edgar Allan Poe was known for writing his horror stories and taking on topics and characters in his stories that most people probably would not. Okay, here we go. True, nervous, very, very dreadfully nervous, I have been and am, but why will you say that I am mad? The disease has sharpened my senses, not destroyed, not dulled them. Above all was the sense of hearing acute. I heard all things in the heaven and in the earth. I heard many things in hell. How then am I mad? Hearken and observe how healthily, how calmly I can tell you the whole story. It's impossible to say how first the idea entered my brain, but once conceived it haunted me day and night. Object there was none. Passion there was none. I loved the old man. He had never wronged me. He had never given me insult. For his gold I had no desire. I think it was his eye. Yes, it was this. He had the eye of a vulture, a pale blue eye with a film over it. Whenever it fell upon me, my blood ran cold, and so by degrees, very gradually, I made up my mind to take the life of the old man, and thus rid myself of the eye forever. So again, we have a mix of words with positive and negative connotation, and it creates an interesting contrast. But even more interesting to me is the contrast between the tone and the mood of the story. So when we're talking about the tone and how the speaker seems to feel... It's maybe not what we expect. He's saying, I murdered an old man because of his eye, and here's the story. And yet, he just feels misunderstood and confident and unremorseful, even powerful and proud. 
he talks about how his senses were sharpened and he was healthy and calm. He wasn't mad. He wasn't crazy. He felt very in control. But then the mood of the telltale heart is very different. When I was reading it, I felt creeped out and worried and disgusted. I did not feel the same sense of calm and power that the speaker felt. So just to review, the tone is how the speaker seems to feel towards what is going on in the story. The mood is how the reader feels while reading the story. Hopefully this helps. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always ask your teacher.